omnipresent one, omnipotent one, all powerful, all knowing, everywhere. So much Jesus told us, told the dim, the church, uh, the first century church, he told us that, Lo, I'm with you to the end of the age. Because he has taken residence up in us. And him living in us, is, or should I say, us living in him, is the conviction that we have. That we don't have to be in that pit anymore. Now next week we'll talk about that war. Because we're a spiritual irrigation system. We should never be thirsty. I know we got a lot of folk thirsty for this and that and another. But believers, we carry within us an answer to our thirst. Jesus was on the cross. He said, I thirst. Why did he say that? Because he was filling our thirst. He, that's what he was doing. Everything, all those seven things he did on the cross was pointing to humanity. But in a new birth, in the city that's being built, as it said in the last book of the Bible, well, the last chapter in the last book, it says that we can come to the waters of life and drink what? Freely. 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 What freely means? And, and I'm going to put it in the Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic. With no cost, without charge. Isaiah said it too. And that's Isaiah 55. He told him, come and drink. But why is the church living in spiritual oasis? Or, or Marathis? I mean, you start seeing, anybody, you should see the movies. Uh, uh, Abbott and Costello, you know, he was in the desert one time. I remember one of the movies. They got so thirsty, they started seeing Marathis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And some of the churches, that's what we've been seeing. And how many of those revivals? Oh, let me quit. <laughs> Prophetic words to be mirages. Because we're looking without. Father, we bless you. Thank you for this word. Mm. Let us be able to understand there's so much more to our faith than meets the eye. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have it in the heart of men what God has prepared for them that love him. We are those that have been prepared from the foundations of the world. Our steps have been ordered of you. This time, this moment, this season, we will not be weary in well-doing. We will apprehend that which we have been apprehended of. We will return the favor. We will draw near because you said as we draw near, you draw near to us. We will respond to the provisions that have been set forth in the finished work that Paul had documented through the Holy Spirit for us, for our edification. Bless your people tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.